Hey hey hey, it's Gamma Games here and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add triggers to Auto Shapes custom animations. A trigger is something that you click on to make the animation sequence start. So first I'm going to draw my auto shapes. I'm going to draw a rectangle, make it borderless, and colour it dark grey. You don't need to colour it like this, it's just for personal aesthetics. I'm now going to select the auto shape, go to the animations tab, and click custom animations. I'm going to add the custom animation in, but first I'm going to make it so the slide does not advance when I click on the background. This is just so if I accidentally miss the trigger, the slide won't go to the next section. So as I said before, I'm going to add in my custom animation. I showed you how to do this step by step in a previous PowerPoint tutorial. So if you want to know more details about this, go and watch that now. So here I'm just adjusting the speed and changing some of the settings. Now I'm going to draw in the trigger or the button. I'm just going to make it red and give it a black outline. Now I'm going to right click on the custom animation and open up the effects tab. I'm just playing around with some of the settings here. In the timings tab you can see this button called triggers. Click this button and you see another section drops down. You want to select start effect on click of and select which shape you want to be your trigger or your button. So I want the animation to start on the click of circle 1. So if I demonstrate here, when I hover over the circle I get a pointer option. When I click on it, the animation starts. Every time I click, the animation replays. Now I'm going to demonstrate how you can add more than one animation under one trigger. So I'm just adding an entrance and exit effect to the rectangle. And I'm adjusting the timings so that it moves after it appears and then disappears after it moves. So now you can see every time I click the button, the animation sequence plays without foul. Thank you for watching today's tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out my other tutorials and goodbye.